Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, what you're looking at is that Lionel 8902 that I was doing the experiment with the uh, powered uh, tender uh, since it had no contactors on it. So rather than uh, spending the 12, 14 bucks to buy those contactors, I just removed the original contactor plate and installed a Marx uh, contactor. It's gonna be the first trip or the first test of this on the rail. I ran it, I just need to see how it's gonna run under a load. So I've got a, uh, the wire spliced right there. I just got this mounted. Haven't epoxied it or glued it yet. It's just uh, friction fit right now. Anyway, let's put this on the rail and see if it will run. So a Lionel 8902, originally a DC locomotive, converted to AC, and now converted with a Marx contactor. Let's see how this runs. It's running on AC. But as you see, that's running absolutely perfectly. So I will epoxy that uh, contactor plate in there, and this old locomotive is up and running. So a Marx contactor on a Lionel 8902. As you see, this is running perfectly. That's 50% power. Nice and smooth, no problems pulling this uh, consist. So in any case, it was a uh, quick expedient, rather than spend the uh, 12 or 14 bucks for those contactors, I just replaced the entire contactor and put a Marx contactor on it. Since I already had the Marx contactor, that didn't cost me anything. And this is up and running. So I'll do some final fitting on this, epoxied into position. And this old locomotive is up and running with a Marx contactor. As you see, running absolutely perfectly. So, in any case, I just want to do a quick video on the uh, quick transplant of that uh, Marx contactor under this motor. Like I said, I could have just bought the contactors, but by the time I buy them, I could uh, buy another locomotive for what it was going to cost. So, since I already had the Marx contactor, it seemed like a Simple expedient just to fit the Marx contactor to the Lionel locomotive. So this started as a DC locomotive, but as you see, it's up and running. So I will get that uh, contactor epoxied into position, get this uh, wire soldered into position, and this locomotive is repaired and running. Has a Marx contactor, but it saved me 14 bucks to, uh, rather than replacing the original contacts, since I already had this contactor, just uh, fitted it to this Lionel motor and it's up and running. So I'll get the uh, final fitting done and get this epoxy into position. And this locomotive is repaired. And it didn't cost me anything. That's the nice thing about it. It's running really well, as you can see. So it has a full wave bridge rectifier mounted on the motor. It has a Marx contactor. This thing was junk when I got it. But as you see, it is up and running with no problems at all. Looks nice, runs nice, dirt cheap. The repair costs nothing. So anyway, I just wanna do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.